We're, we're gonna test it right now. Are we testing it right now? Mm-hmm. Watch it work. It ain't doing it right now. Dude, oh, my nipples are hard now. <laughs> What the fuck? Alright you guys, so what's up? We're back out here once again with the uh, KA build. And in this video, I'm basically going to dedicate everything there is to putting the distributor in. So that when you guys put the distributor in, you guys don't put it like 180 out or off a tooth to where it's stopping you from starting the KA for your first time. So that's basically going to be what the whole video is about today. So let's get to it. Let's go you guys. All right, you guys, so when you're about to put the distributor in, basically, I have little marks that I marked on my distributor so I can line the, this is like the rotor button, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rotor button, basically. That's basically all you gotta do is line the rotor button in, and then you wanna have this angled like this, like this little placeholder and this little placeholder like this. You wanna have this lined up with the bolt hole, basically. There's a bolt hole down here on the distributor side We'll get a better angle for you guys in the video. But basically you want the bolt hole to be lined up with the center of this little gap in the distributor when you're when you're placing it in. So you wanna have the rotor button lined up in a certain spot and then you wanna have, when you're placing it in, the bolt hole to be lined up in the center. So basically, my little mark is basically right, if you were to like have to place it anywhere, it's between this crease right here like right where these two little ends meet right here for the screw bolt. Like, you want the rotor button, this little metal piece in the middle, to be facing right about there. Let's see if you can get the best. Mm -hmm. Like right there. That's where I have it at. There's a little indicator on the distributor right here. If you guys can see that. There's a little hole and then there's a little line. Well. I think that shit fucks you up, so I don't even go by that. Like I said, I just have the rotor button pointing to this little crease right here, right at that little crease, and it seems to be working for me, so just take that, have the rotor button already set, and I have this hole right here that's lined up with the center of this. Like this little hole that you're able to adjust it basically. I have it lined up like that. And then I just pop it right up in there. You might have to like play with it a little bit, set the teeth line up. And then press it in and then boom, distributor is set. And basically, if you have it turned all the way counterclockwise, you have your timing all the way advanced. And if you have it turned like, oh fuck. I think I fucked up you guys. All right, if you have it turned all the way clockwise, you have it all the way advanced. If you ever turn it counterclockwise, that's retarding your timing. So that's basically it for the distributor. Also, if you're having a lot of trouble pulling it in and out, like it's like a shit ton of work to basically just press the distributor in, like you can't even press it in with one hand, then the problem you're probably having from what forums say, people on forums say it's this O-ring, which that could be the problem. Someone said it was a problem for them on a the forum. But the problem I've noticed is that your timing cover right here hasn't been machined. So I, I've already went through like three distributors already and like two heads because this this piece right here, the front timing cover wasn't getting machined and it was making it really hard for me to press this distributor cap in. Well not cap, just a distributor. So when you get your head resurfaced or if you're rebuilding your whole K or whatnot, make sure you get this front timing cover resurfaced or your distributor is going to be like hell just putting it back in so mm. yeah, you don't want that yep mm -hmm. nope you don't want that so resurface that and your distributor should pop in every time basically with one hand so ain't even gonna spin on it that's basically what you gotta do when you're putting the distributor into the uh, KA so I hope this video helped you guys so if it did please do leave a like and please do keep on subscribing for future videos you guys and I guess we'll see you in the next video so peace, peace. out